Yosemite was the first national park in America and has been a must-visit spot since 1890. Over 4 million visitors come to see its natural beauty every year. Yosemite has 13 campgrounds that have thousands of camping sites within them. An important part of planning your trip is finding the one that fits your needs and reserving it as soon as you can. Keep watching to learn about the best campsites in Yosemite National Park. Lower Pines This is often considered one of the best campsites in Yosemite and definitely one of the best in Yosemite Valley. It has 60 campsites along the Merced River that offer beautiful views of Half Dome. Three of them are doubles that fit 7 to 12 people. They're private with a mix of deciduous and pine trees. Lower Pines is open from April to October but may be closed in times of flooding. You can bring an RV up to 40 feet long or a trailer up to 35 feet long. Single sites cost approximately $26 a night and doubles cost $36. Be sure to make reservations to these popular grounds in advance. North Pines This campground sits on the other side of the river from Lower Pines. It has 81 closely packed sites open from March to October. They cost $26 a night. You can bring a tent up that's up to 40 feet long, an RV up to 40 feet long, or a trailer up to 35 feet long. Upper Pines This campground sits on the east end of Yosemite Valley and is 4,400 feet above the ground. It's the largest in Yosemite Valley and the second largest in the park with 238 campsites. They accommodate RVs up to 35 feet long and trailers up to 24 feet long. Upper Pines is made up of several loops, but navigating it is easy. The pines and cedars provide shade and you'll get beautiful views of Half Dome, El Capitan, and other famous Yosemite sites. The nearby Curry Village gives you access to many of the best amenities in the park. You can reserve a site from March to October or try to snag one from December through March. Camp 4 This is the only campsite in Yosemite that doesn't allow cars, RVs, trailers, or pets. It's 11 acres wide and 4,000 feet up with 36 walk-in sites for tent campers. You'll need to park next to the campground and walk to your site instead of parking directly next to it. Camp 4 is one of the best campsites in Yosemite for rock climbers. Major names like Royal Robbins and Warren Harding started visiting in the 60s and 70s. It even earned a place on the National Register of Historic Places for its contributions to the sport. Getting a spot at Camp 4 means paying $10 to enter an online lottery the day before your trip. You'll also have to camp in a six-person site with whoever else wins the lottery. Bridal Veil Creek Campground this is the only campground on Glacier Point Road. It's a 26-mile drive from Yosemite Valley and it's 7,200 feet high. It has 110 tent and RV sites, three horse sites, and two group sites that hold 13 to 30 people but need to be reserved up to five months before your trip. There's even an RV park within the campground as well. It has no hookups or dump stations. Staying at Bridal Veil vale means enjoying beautiful views from the Glacier Point Lookout. It's also the perfect place for hikes and has amenities like a fire ring, picnic tables, fresh water, flushing toilets, and food lockers. The creek is so clean you can get drinking water from it. Bridal Veil vale is closed in 2022, so keep checking to see if it reopens. Crane Flat Campground This is the closest campground to Yosemite Valley at only 15 miles and a 30-minute drive away. It has 166 campsites you can reserve five months in advance from July to October. They only cost $26 a night. It's currently closed, but consider a visit when it reopens. Hodgden Meadow Campground This campground is open year-round with reservations available from April through October. There are 105 campsites that cost $26 a night. The convenience makes it one of the best campsites in Yosemite. Hodgden Meadow accommodates larger RVs of up to 40 feet long. There are no electricity or water hookups, but there is a dump station nearby. Long droughts have removed many of the trees, and the ground is fine and dusty. Try to avoid getting a site near the entrance and make a reservation from April to October. Tamarack Flat Campground Getting to this campground requires a drive on a three-mile unpaved road. It sits along the Tamarack Creek and has 52 campsites. It's private and full of beautiful trees. You can reserve a site from July to October for $12 a night. RVs are allowed, but not recommended. White Wolf Campground This campground is 8,000 feet above ground. It has 74 sites that accommodate RVs up to 27 feet long and trailers up to 24 feet long. 
They also feature fire rings, picnic tables, food lockers, public restrooms, water taps, and more. There are no electricity or water hookups, but there are two dump stations. White Wolf is close to Lukens Lake and Harden Lake, making it perfect for swimming and fishing. It has plenty of hiking trails and rock climbing sites for campers of every skill level. The campground is so high up it tends to get cold at night. Bring warm clothes before making a reservation. You can get one from July through September for $18 a night. Before we tell you more about the best campsites in Yosemite, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Yosemite Creek Campground This is one of the best campsites in Yosemite if you want to see Yosemite Falls. It has a 7-mile trail that leads directly to it. You'll need to use the creek as drinking water and there are no electricity or water hookups or dump sites. Yosemite Creek gets cold in the winter due to its 7,700-foot elevation. It has 74 pet-friendly sites, but don't bring an RV or trailer with you. You can reserve a spot from July through September for $12 a night. Porcupine Flat This campground is located only 15 miles away from two alumni meadows. It has 52 remote campsites available from July through October for $12 a night. Porcupine Flat isn't the best place to go if you're expecting amenities. You'll even have to bring your own water or boil what you can find nearby. It's still worth a stay because it offers gorgeous views and miles of trails. Two Alumni Campground This is the largest and highest campground in Yosemite with 304 campsites and an elevation of 8,600 feet. You can stay in a tent, RV, or trailer up to 35 feet long. It fits plenty of amenities into its large size, including a restaurant, gas station, post office, mountaineering school, visitor center, and more. The campground offers beautiful views of Elizabeth Lake and Lyle Canyon. You may even see a black bear on the John Muir Trail. You can reserve half the campsites here from July through September for $26 a night, and you'll just have to hope the rest are available. It's closed until 2025 for reservations, but worth the trip when it reopens. Wawona Campground this campground sits on the south fork of the Merced River. It's only a mile north of the small town of Wawona. It has 93 campsites you can reserve from April through October for $26 a night. Its RV park has no hookups, water, or electricity, but there is an available dump station on Forest Drive. Wawona is split into three loops. Loop A is wide, close to the entrance and open all year. Loops B and C are more private, but only open from spring to fall. Each site accommodates tents, RVs, and trailers up to 35 feet long. They also have plenty of basic amenities like water, fire, and toilets, but it's more remote than most other campgrounds that offer the same features. Wawona is the closest campground to the impressive grizzly giant Sequoia Tree, and you'll also get a chance to visit the Mariposa Grove to see more trees. Go to the Pioneer Yosemite History Center if you want to learn something new. Wawona Campground is closed in 2022. Be sure to see when it reopens. Summerdale Campground this campground is only 1.5 miles from the south entrance to Yosemite. It's privately run, with 30 basic sites scattered along its meadow. You'll see a river and gorgeous trees like cottonwoods, cedars, and sugar pines. You'll also have your own toilet, water, picnic tables, and fire ring. Pets are welcome, and reservations should be made six months in advance. Indian Flat RV Park this is another privately run campground and a useful alternative if you can't find a campsite anywhere else. It has 25 sites for tents and 25 for RVs. There are also plenty of nearby amenities such as an outdoor pool and lodge. Indian Flat provides the forest atmosphere you're looking for. It's so popular you'll want to make a reservation up to a year in advance. Curry Village this is one of the best campsites in Yosemite if you want to stay in style. There are over 319 cabins. The canvas tent options have wooden floors, cot beds, lights, and propane heat. They also offer daily housekeeping and nearby washrooms and showers. There are also 70 wooden cabins, and 56 of them have running water and bathrooms inside. Unlike the tents, they all have heat and electrical outlets. You can also get daily housekeeping and go to a nearby bathroom if your wooden cabin doesn't have one. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever camped out in Yosemite? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.